Hello parents, Jay Heim here, Director of Family Ministry at C3. And uh, I want to share some exciting news with you. But first, let me begin by saying thank you. Thank you for your patience and your support during this season. You know, it was almost a year ago when uh, we had to shut C3 Kids down uh, due to the COVID-19 virus. And at the time, none of us really thought it would be much more than a few weeks, maybe a few months, and we would be back together. But here we are one year later, and uh, we want to say thank you because we know um, it's been a, a challenging time for most of us. Uh, but one of the things that we did when we uh, announced that we were shutting down was to launch a special website that would house all things C3 Kids. And, and that website was c3kidswheeling.com. And it was on this website that we posted the Grow at Home materials. And we've done our best to continue to provide for you every single week uh, a teaching video, materials to use with your kids at home, games, sing-along songs, uh, object lessons, all to help you continue to provide training and uh, information for your kids while we are in this season. We heard from a number of parents with uh, their appreciation for the website and, and for all the materials and uh, that, just, that just really makes us happy that we were able to continue to provide you with these resources and that so many of you have been using them. Well, our hope here at C3Kids is to help kids take their next steps of faith in Jesus Christ. And, and we believe that that can happen in a number of ways, but uh, primarily there are two things that we think about when we think about C3Kids and helping them take their next steps of faith. And, and the first is that it's, it starts at home. Uh, we believe that uh, as parents, it's our primary responsibility to train up our kids. But we realize that that comes with a number of challenges. And that's why C3Kids is here. We wanna come alongside parents and help you as you help your kids take their next steps of faith. And that leads us to this exciting news. Uh, I am thrilled to announce that C3Kids will be returning to in-person gatherings on Sunday, April the 11th. What will this look like? Well. We are going to host a hybrid kids gathering at the 1115 service here at C3. Now, one of our goals is to uh, be able to provide a safe place for kids so that they can gather, have some fun, and hear and learn about Jesus. This hybrid gathering will allow for us to open our doors, welcome kids back, while maintaining the recommended safety protocols. Now, I'm not going to go into all the details here in this video. Instead, we will publish another video with all of the expectations, tips, and some helps uh, in about a week or so. And in this video, we'll go over everything that you need to know about uh, the return to this hybrid gathering. Uh, there will also be a Zoom call that will take place in the week prior to Sunday, April the 11th, where we will give you any last minute news or updates concerning the hybrid gathering, uh, as well as leaving some time for you to ask questions. And so uh, we'll share that information here in a little bit, but we would encourage and invite you to come and be a part of that uh, Zoom call with us. Now, we know that there are still a lot of opinions and feelings and thoughts when it comes to COVID and, and vaccines and uh, comfort levels for being back in person. And so we are doing our very best to take all of those uh, things into account as we prepare to return to the building here in April. And one of the things that we recognize is that we are going to need some help. And so we are looking for uh, some volunteers to help us in areas such as uh, welcome and check-in, uh, hallway and restroom monitors, uh, along with some in-class help. Everything from uh, an extra set of hands in the, in the room helping with the lessons and the games and the activities to leading uh, and teaching. And so maybe that's teaching the Bible lesson or maybe that's just simply leading the games or leading singing or leading some of the fun that uh, we have planned for that particular Sunday. What I would like to encourage you to do is to visit us at c3kidswheeling.com 
And on that webpage, uh, we have created a, a new page for you to kind of go through what some of our current needs are and a little bit more information of what our expectations look like and, and to see if you might be able to come alongside of us in this season and give us the little extra help that we need as we bring kids back and get back into meeting together in person. Here's what I'd like to ask you to do. Uh, keep an eye open for the follow-up video, which should come about sometime next week. And, and then also keep your eyes open for the Zoom call information, which we will be sending out uh, via email. We will be posting it on the website and we'll be sharing it in our Facebook page as well as our parents link uh, for C3 Kids Parents Link. Um, and we would really love to see you come and be a part of that. We would love to have you come and help us as we come back together. Uh, most of all, we, would, we are really looking forward to having your kids return uh, to be here with us again uh, at C3 Kids. And all of it begins on Sunday, April the 11th. So be watching for more information and uh, it's time to get excited because C3 Kids is back.